making the rounds that uh, somebody from a Bonny state or a citizen whatsoever was kidnapped. So let me thank you for coming. I believe that uh, after this uh, press briefing, you'll be better informed and you'll be better positions to tell, better positioned to tell the public the actual <coughs> situation of things. So my press briefing reads this way. It has become imperative to put the record straight over the sensations caused by the Mendash's and deceptive account of the cronies of Honorable Linus Abba Okori over his arrest, which was truly in connection with serial crimes allegedly committed by him and the complicity of his club facility, that is the city club, in promoting sundry crimes, especially in peddling or hard drugs and other illicit substances. We have noted the motive behind the weighty but baseless accusations leveled against the security outfit that carried out its lawful and professionality in relation to the offenses hanging around the neck of Honorable Linus Abao Kori, and for which he had, for the opted time, rudely and subversively evaded every attempt by the police to arrest him to answer to the questions or to answer to the crimes that he was suspected to have committed. Contrary to these unfounded, irresponsible and vicious accusations widely circulated in social media for cheap political games. The said suspect, Honorable Linus Abao Kore, was arrested and promptly handed over to the police and he is pretty hell and hearty. He is already given useful information on his roles in the offenses established against him. It is noteworthy to mention that in a petition dated 23rd day of March 2022, and which was transmitted to the Office of the Commission of Police and by State Command on the 24th day of March 2022, the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice for Ebony State sought for the arrest of Honorable Linus Abao Kore over the maliciously concocted and virally circulated criminal and defamatory onslaught against the person of the Governor of Ebony State, which according to him violated the extant provisions of Ebony State Cyber Crimes Prohibition Law Number 1012, 2021, and Internal Security Law of a Bonny State. We were told the police made several efforts to arrest the said Honorable Linus Abba Okore, who was moving fugitively to frustrate the long arms of the law. It is also noteworthy to mention that the cyber crimes crack team in the Ministry of Information and State Orientation of Ebony State reported a criminal case of contravention of the cyber crimes law of Ebony State by Honorable Linus Abba This was dated 20th day of January 2022 and same acknowledged by the Office of the Commission of Police on the 31st day of January 2022, we were also told that the said suspect, Honorable Linus Abao Kori, had been evading, had been evading the course of investigation. On the sixth day of October 2022, investigation. Sorry, on the sixteenth day of October 2022, actionable intelligence propelled the Bubago Security Agency to operationally track the said Honorable Linus Abao Korea over security information that is staff to his knowledge 
was harboring illicit drug traffickers in his club facility, one of whom had been arrested, arraigned, and charged to court, and also convicted in charge number FHC slash um, AI slash 41C 2022 in the Federal High Court of Nigeria in the Apakaliki Division. It must be noted that Ebony State Ebubadu Security Agency is a, a creation of the law established to, among other things, collaborate with and assist the police and other security agencies in maintaining law and order, including but not limited to uh, ensuring that offenders are identified, arrested, profiled, and promptly handed over to the nearest police station. And this day discharged in the case of Honorable Linus Abaokunde with a deep sense of responsibility for um, having regard to the sacrosanctity of his constitutional right. The law, you know, is no respecter of persons. And his enforcement applies to all manners of people, notwithstanding their political or economic status in a society. Our duty as government is to ensure that the laws are enforced in line with the best practices. We therefore urge members of the public to please discountenance all the rumors and unfounded accusations against our hard-working security agencies and our government officials and the handiwork of political despotaders who are bitter and envious about the performance index of a state government, especially in the creation of enabling a physical and social environment for the advancement of our statehood as a people. Let me at this point mention that we've had um, other forms of um, accusations by some illegal organizations uh, who have also gone to social media and other media platforms to accuse wrongly without verifiable information uh, about state government over the condition or the situation with the uh, honorable lines. The, the case in point here is that of one Moses Idika, who is a personal aide to honorable Linus uh, about Korea. Uh, today in Abuja, it was uh, seen conspicuously uh, dishing out falsehood against the state government. That is actually fake news, uh, fake news, you must know. And let me say that the organization is parade in that is worried Nigeria city is not registered anywhere um, in any law or in a, um, what we call the Corporate Affairs Commission. And so please, members of the public should disregard, discountenance uh, that very uh, accusation uh, by the said Moses Ibika. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, our dear event. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel The Mirror TV on YouTube, The Mirror on Facebook, The Mirror TV on Twitter. Subscribe and follow us, and we shall be giving you updates of the activities here in Ebon State and across the globe. For advert placement or sponsorship, call the number showing on the screen or email us at mbamsilvestavi.com.